Kaiju, Dragon Ball, Pokemon, and more. It's Steven's Story Reviews. Hello there, collectors. It's Steven here, and welcome back to another Bandai Movie Monster Series review. And this time, we are going to be taking a look at King Ghidorah's newest incarnation from the latest and greatest... Is it really greatest? I don't know. You be the judge. Movie Godzilla Planet Eater... Ghidra. That's right, it's Ghidra, kids, not Ghidorah. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute, but you know what, just so this way we can all stay on the same page, I'm gonna go ahead and just call him Ghidorah. Now, Ghidorah here, uh, well, he's a quite an interesting design. You see, he's just kind of energy, and he comes from another dimension. So, uh, Bandai did the best that they could here to make a vinyl figure out of him. Or did they do the best that they could? Well, let's take a look to see whether or not Ghidorah, or Ghidra, is worth adding into your collection. So, believe it or not, even though this um, is uh, translucent yellow vinyl here, Ghidorah actually does have a pretty nice sculpt, and the paint that is used on Ghidorah actually really does help to bring out some of the finer details of the sculpt where it is in fact used. Like on the neck and on the wings, it's great, it's really cool to see the paint really bring out the details and make it pop. However, unfortunately, the yellow vinyl that's used, that's completely unpainted, it really just makes everything clash together. So even though there is a nice sculpt, realistically speaking, at a quick glance, when it's up on the shelf, you're not really going to be able to see too, too much. You really have to hold it and study it in order to appreciate anything about the figure. But you know what? If you're a customizer, you may actually just appreciate that. Anyway, he's made of a translucent yellow vinyl, which is cool because it captures light just the right way. But you know what, enough of the things you kind of have to make an excuse for. Let's actually take a closer look at this guy where you can see the details for the head. Great, especially when you look up close. Why? Because even though he should have colored eyes, you can make out all of the individual eyes. Really cool, and that goes for the same for each head. We can also even see some teeth in the mouth. That is pretty cool. We do also have the scales on the neck, even though, to be honest with you, it's kind of like armor plating, I like to think about it. So are they really scales, considering he's basically just kind of energy? I don't know. You be the judge on that one. Now, the wings also look really, really cool. And this is the last part of the figure where there's going to be paint. You see, that dark gold paint really brings out the sculpt. It's a nice wash, so this way it really helps to bring out some of the ridges on Ghidorah. And it makes it feel like a quality figure, at least on this part. Now, the underside of the wing, unfortunately, there's no paint there at all, so, yeah, all that detail is lost. Now, taking a look at the main body, this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. All of the detail is kind of lost, especially when you take a step back and you look at it on the shelf, because you can't really make out all of the ridges and the different plates and whatnot on Ghidorah here. Nothing really clicks, and it's not that impressive at all. As a matter of fact, so much, before I actually had this guy in hand, I did not notice... They included feet on Ghidorah. That's right. Not only are there feet, there are actual full, complete legs. So that's right. For the full design of this Ghidorah, he can actually stand upright just like the normal King Ghidorah can. And we also do have some nice sculpt marks for the tail. So long story short, unfortunately, this is the epitome of Bandai's current practice of only painting portions of the figure while leaving the rest of it completely unpainted, most commonly found with the Bandai Ultra Monsters. Now, something of note for many folks, they seem to think that the wings were just a simple reuse of servums from last year, and this is in fact not true. 100% new sculpt on Ghidorah here. Now, real quick, let's go over the articulation. Ghidorah features three swivels at the base, of each of the necks. That's right, that's it, nothing else. There's no waist swivel, the wings don't move, nothing. Which, to be honest with you, it's kinda lazy. They definitely could have included some other articulation, even though this is a simple vinyl. Now that being said though, if you're a customizer, and this is one of the big selling points for this one, you can pop the necks off easy peasy lemon squeezy, and you can include things like tinsel inside of the figure. It's coming up on the holiday season at the time of this review was posted, so tinsel is really easy to get. You can actually get this guy to pop a little bit more on the shelf with that extra reflective material in there. Really cool. Or if you want to go the extra mile, 
throw in some LEDs. Now, why exactly am I calling this feller Ghidra? Well, you see, kids, if you look at the tag for this guy, it will have Ghidorah, or Ghidra, listed in Japanese, and then in English, it specifically lists Ghidra, not Ghidorah, unlike some other releases. So as to what exactly this incarnation's name is, I guess it technically is up for debate because it does have Ghidorah listed on the tag, but Ghidra in English, so... You guys can fight over that. Now, uh, the rest of the tag, honestly, it just has the Planet Eater stuff on it, and then there's the legal stuff on the inside of the tag, so not all that big of a deal. Nothing interesting here. Now we're going to go ahead and move on over to the size comparison, where you can see I'm doing things a bit differently, because Ghidorah is very long from head to tail, and has a very wide wingspan, so I can't do a figure on each side, just so... This is the best way that I can do it. But to really give you an idea of exactly Ghidorah's size here, at the end, SH Figure Arts Ultraman alongside King Ghidorah. So this way you can get a really good idea that this guy is definitely a shelf hog. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. In terms of accuracy, well, i got to be honest with you, in the movie he just kind of wraps around Godzilla or wraps around a, a spaceship and gets blown up. And goes back into a, on his, his, his own dimension. So, is he memorable? Eh. To be honest with you, fans of Ghidorah probably already have this on order. And those of you who are kind of in between, well, you've pretty much seen all you need to see. The sculpt is great. The translucent yellow vinyl used, eh. It lends itself to some pretty neat customs, especially if you want to light this guy up. But the paint is just not very good, especially when we have something like, let's say, the Movie Monster series Biolante that was released not too long ago, looking that much better. Overall, I do think that this is something that has potential to it if you want to customize it, but as it stands, it's relatively weak. However, it is a pretty nice sizing if you want to go ahead and customize it, especially for the SH Monster Arts Godzilla Earth. And if you're able to get it for a good price, it may just be worth picking up for a deal. Well, folks, that's the end of this review. Thanks for watching, and be sure to follow me on social media to catch more behind-the-scenes shenanigans and updates. The end card should be popping up now with more hand-selected SDR goodness for you to watch, so check out some of those videos. Be sure to check the description, too, to see where you can buy this figure or others like it, and some cool links, like the credits for this video and other ways you can help out the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next